the little Dirk arrest has more interesting details. Dirk booked three international flights in an alleged attempt to flee the country after his boys were arrested earlier in the day. U.S. Customs and Border Protection alerted the FBI that Dirk booked the two flights to Dubai and Switzerland, but Dirk did not board either flight. FBI officials soon learned that he also booked a private plane to depart Miami and arrive in Italy. This man Dirk had two decoy flights booked to Dubai and Switzerland. Who books two flights like that that isn't guilty and trying to flee? While simultaneously having a private jet ready and then getting called an hour before the private jet takes off at the airport. Dirk just got rewarded the key to the city from Broadview, Illinois Mayor Katrina Thompson. But now sadly it's being revoked. Broadview withdraws key to village from Lil Dirk and partnership with Rappers Foundation from Village of Broadview Mayor Katrina Thompson. Here's her statement. While the American system of justice grants everyone the presumption of innocence until proven guilty in a court of law, in the village of Broadview the court of public opinion of residents has even higher moral and ethical standards of behavior and our public partners must also reflect the same uncompromising standards demanded by our residents. Given news that Lil Dirk has been arrested in Florida and charged with murder for hire, the village of Broadview is withdrawing our honorary key to the village, granted to Dirk, and is terminating our partnership agreement with his youth organization, Neighborhood Heroes Foundation. It almost sounds like the kids in this youth organization are getting punished, which I don't like, but as a mayor protecting Broadview's interests and upholding the values of residents is job number one. And here's a bunch of pictures of her rewarding him the key. Oh man, literally seven days ago on October 18th. Wow, this is just incredible timing. So here's OTF Jam who allegedly wore a wire for years. I don't think there's a lot confirmed about how long he wore this wire. People are kind of spreading around 12 years because he was in prison for 12 years, but we won't know until the trial if this ever goes to trial, which I have to get into later on. So here's OTF Jam who allegedly wore a wire for years. I don't think there's a lot confirmed about how long he wore this wire. People are kind of spreading around 12 years because he was in prison for 12 years, but we won't know until the trial if this ever goes to trial, which I have to get into later on. But this guy's literally in music videos and been around Dirk a lot. I heard somebody named OTF Jam. They said they've been calling him a rat, 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 rat. And basically he said, okay, I'm a rat. Well, watch this, watch this. That all this information that I know. Rat this, I'm gonna tell this, I'm gonna tell that. Um, my video early, I told y'all, man, if somebody say Dirk name, that's all it's going to take to say that man name. And obviously, like I said earlier too, if they come, they come and they ain't coming just because they want to, ooh, they coming and they feel they got you. That's why I'll be saying, I don't care how much money you got, what's going on, man, these people will throw you under the bus, these people will do you in. So here's an interview of OTF Jam talking about how apparently Dirk helped him survive in prison and he did him this dirty after. Well, like, how did you even get linked in with uh, just OTF, period? That shit. You started with LinkedIn. Yeah. We grew up together. This ain't no. We grew up together. People I met, nah, I knew them. Like I'm saying, this was before Jim. I know Dirk was rapping. We, had that. we came out that loud yeah, one, yeah. lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, like back oh, then, like before y'all, y'all never even heard of that. Like this was shit in our parties, like personal oh, no. shit. Yeah. I'm saying, like, that's bro. Oh, no. I'm yeah. saying, my whole time in jail, that stayed, bro. Like, before the money, you know what I'm saying? That was bro. Like, I remember when the money won there. If this is true, and he's co-conspirator too, this is terrible. He did Dirk so dirty. Snitching in an interview is another thing. Like, that's bad, obviously. In the gang world, that's like, you're a rat. But wearing a wire is another level. Yeah, my lawyer money in there when I fight my case. Like my whole time in jail, I was straight. My whole time in jail, I was straight because Dirk was taking care of him, is pretty much what he's saying. Everybody yeah, get taken care of. Shit. Um, um, gang shit, none of that shit. It's just like some family shit. Bro. That's cool that Dirk was taking care of people. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Yeah. We always came together and made sure the guys are straight. Like, I love bro for that. Can't shit forever. Bro said this shit forever. Uh, Jam get out that jam and give him 50. He ain't gotta ask again, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't gotta ask shit, bro. He said he gave you 50, bro. All you know facts. what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> facts. What in that shit? <laughs> Bro said facts. I got 50k from him. Actually, more than that. While wearing a wire. I hope this isn't true, man. Can you tell us how much uh, he gave you, or you don't want to even? No, no, no. I ain't gotta get into all that. But bro made sure he made a way for me to be straight. Like, like he's saying, gotta ask again. You know, like shit. Mm -hmm. Free a car. Oh, they never take anything I take care of. Say something about a car or something? So Dirk gave him a car too? Did he say something about a house there? Free a car. Oh, they never take care of. 
A crib? This is insane. All right, here's a video of OTF Jam when he got out of prison. Oh, sh hey, Trey. What up? I'm home, baby. Yeah, hey, come talk to me, bro. Come here. Trey, I ain't seen your ass in a minute, bro. What's up, nigga? You still be cracking cars, nigga? Oh, hell no. Nah. You still be cracking cars? Bank cars? I was telling you about that nigga the other time. Y'all be safe. You know 12 out here. <laughs> you know 12 out here. Drewski really has a skit for every type of situation. So here's Dirk talking about if Gunna is a snitch on Thug for taking that Alfred plea. And the DJ is about to play Gunna. Would you let him play Gunna? They ain't got nothing to do with me. That's the DJ, that's the DJ set. Would you play Gunna in the club? Would I play Gunna in the club? Yeah. No. Why'd you unfollow him? If this was the courtroom and yes, you sitting up here and telling me who I'm talking about. Do you consider? I'm, I'm asking. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm actually. If this was a courtroom. Yeah. I, I can't tell you who you're talking about. So now. So, that, so that's assumptions. Okay. Okay, cool. So let me ask you directly. So now you putting your story together yourself. I never said nobody's name. Do you believe that Gunna is a snitch? Huh? Do you believe that Gunna told? That, that, man, I don't sit up and play games, man. That man told. You should have went in there and kept your mouth closed. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was. I, I thought you were trying to reverse it. I'm like, hell no. I'm like, I just said, I know. I, no, I just said, I'm I like, know. That almost I, scares you. I'm like, yo, how did, huh? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if gonna like. Hell no. I just never. I never. I never like. I'm following. I, I don't know. I never like. Why well, didn't I don't know? I just don't take that shit. Instagram and all that shit type of shit serious. But if you a rat, you a rat. And if you rewind this clip a little bit, I looked into the camera. and I told you, if you a rat, I fucking hate you. Cause I love thug. Did you ever think though? So Jam's the guy right here in the red hat in this music video with Dirk. Look, I'm dapping up right here and everything. This is insane. That's why people say they want loyalty over everything. The feds ain't coming after you if they don't have real evidence. More than 90% of individuals who are prosecuted in federal court are convicted. If you're facing federal charges, it is of the utmost importance that you entrust your case to a hard-hitting federal criminal defense attorney to vastly improve your chances of securing a reduction or dismissal of your charges. In the United States, almost 98% of federal convictions are the result of plea bargains. In 2022, nearly 9% of people charged with federal crimes pled guilty without going to trial. 90% don't even go to trial. Do we think Dirk's going to go to trial? Do you think he's going to take like, I don't know, what, what's murder for hire plea? Like that, is that even... So here's some information on the murder for hire statute. Whoever travels and or causes an another travel in interstate or foreign commerce or uses or causes another to use the mail or any facility of interstate or foreign commerce with the intent that a murder be committed in violation of the laws of any state or the United States as consideration for the receipt of or as in consideration of a promise or agreement to pay any of pecuniary value or who conspires to do so. So every case is obviously different but a LA landlord sentenced 20 years in prison for a murder for hire plot and that's a 2024 case as well. A man named Bert Gucci Rhodes. What? Also known as Mo Sean was sentenced life in prison plus seven eight months for murder for hire Rhodes was convicted of conspiring to commit murder for hire committing murder for hire in possession with intent to distribute heroin in california the sentence of murder for hire depends on the degree of the murder and whether it involves special circumstances so it all depends on what dirk's mindset is here if he takes a plea do you think he's willing to you know take a 25 year plea or some bullshit i don't even know if they're gonna offer that they're probably be like hey you're going to jail for 40 years so you want it or not or we're going to trial. So this is some serious shit. This is not looking good for Dirk, boys. I don't know what to say. He might be cooked. He might be going to jail for life. So I wonder what plea they offer him or if he'll even take a plea. Hey, subscribe, join channel membership. Love you guys. Peace out.